Hey guys, it's your girl Miss Ann Little Cola. I'm coming to you live straight out of NYC on this beautiful Tuesday afternoon. I hope you guys are having a great day and it's very quiet or it's filled with a lot of excitement. I know it's a Tuesday. Tuesday is the most boring day out of the week. But hey, it is what it is. You know, we're all here. So anyway, I want to just discuss Sweetie's SNL performance. As you all know, I do watch SNL. I've been watching SNL from a little kid. My parents watched it before I was born. My sister watched SNL when she was a teen. And so I pretty much grew up. It's like a legacy, a tradition to watch SNL. So a lot of times we critique the guest host, but we don't really critique the musical guest unless it's somebody like Kanye who we know is going to do something uneventful. But the reason why I want to discuss Sweetie is because I had to pause because the delivery came through. So, okay. Her performance was trash. I have to, I have to be honest about it. And I'm saying this because Sweetie has been around that we've known of her in the public since early 2018 and she came around after she came out after cardi b made her debut with bodak yellow she came out after that she's been she came out years later after Nicki minaj but she came out before megan the stallion and Doja Cat. And I'm saying that because she's in between those that have had mainstream success. And all of them have had number one singles. Sweetie hasn't even had a top ten hit. So I've been kind of perplexed because she got the McDonald's um, Sweetie meal. She's a college grad. She's connected to MC Hammer and her grandfather... Was, a, was an NFL football player. She's from Cali. Her production is okay. But I said there's something lacking. And she has the, the, the it factor. Here's the problem. Sweetie can't perform. And whoever develops her, they didn't do a good job with developing her talent. Like they did Megan, Cardi B, Doja Cat. You could say Nicki Minaj. You could even say Caesar. They didn't do a good job with artist development for her. I feel that they rushed her out so that she can compete with Cardi B and Megan. Not so much Nicki Minaj and then Doja Cat as well. That's not a good thing. Because here you have somebody that's been in the game publicly since 2018. And Homegirl has not been able to get a top 10 hit on a Billboard Hot 100. Now, she has top 10s on the rap charts and R&B, but in this day and age, as a rapper, especially a female rapper, you got to get that top 10 hit. She doesn't even have one on a feature. And I know people are going to say, well, she does go platinum. Yes, she does. And she does have two platinum singles and one gold. And she does chart high on iTunes, but this is the thing. iTunes is not the official chart. The official chart is Billboard Hot 100. Another thing also to keep in mind is that iTunes is for those songs that are on iTunes. There are quite a few music that doesn't get on iTunes. And this is why I miss Google Play because um, Google Play, Google Music, I mean, it was more, music was more accessible than it is on iTunes. I don't have an Apple account. I don't have an Apple phone. I'm a Samsung person. So for me, that would be far reach. So iTunes, nobody cares about iTunes. It's not really impactful. Case in point, Tamar Braxton. Tamar Braxton went number one on iTunes twice. She went number one on iTunes twice. But guess what? She couldn't break in on Billboard. And no, and it didn't help her career at the end of the day. And she went gold, but 
without having those top tens on Billboard, it don't matter. You got to get a top 10 on Billboard to be solidified and to be legitimized. Now, I don't know if Sweetie has released an actual album as her as her competitors, but she has to be rebranded in terms of her artistry. My suggestion is she needs to get legendary talent people who go back to the 90s and 2000s to brand to rebrand her image and market her. That's where she should start. Now she is signed to Warner. She's signed to Warner Records, the same record industry that record industry that has been trying to get rappers to compete with Nicki Minaj. So that's a whole nother thing. Another thing too is, and then she has Zaytoven as her cousin, who's a music producer. So why can't she get a hit? I mean, she got, mm -mm. yeah, there's something not right there. So she's coming out with an album, an actual studio album called Pretty Bitch Music. And I'm not cursing for YouTube. That is the name of the title. So um, she has, she has songs, she has songs, but she doesn't have those top tens. And no matter what, if you don't have those top tens, Mm -mm. And then not to mention, she was involved in that BS with Quavo earlier this year. And you're too young in the game to be involved in nonsense. So, and then the feature with Doja Cat should have been a top 10. And I think it would have been a top 10 had it been with Megan Thee Stallion. I just think that the industry isn't feeling her. I just don't think that they see her as a true competitor for Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B. I think they chose Doja Cat, even though I think she's pop. She's not even hip hop. I think Sweetie is more hip hop. I do like the beats. Another thing also I would say is maybe because she's from California, maybe that's why I'm not feeling her because I'm noticing that Cali rappers nowadays don't get the shine that they used to get back in the 90s and early 2000s. It's this weird kind of thing where all the rappers are coming from the South. They're not even coming from the Midwest anymore. They're coming from the South, straight out of the South exclusively. They're not even really coming out of New York. So it could be something with that as well. But um, hopefully she pops. There's a lot of money invested in her. I'm sure she signed that Wax 360 deal. And, you know, at the end of the day, when you're grinding out there like that, you should be able to get something in return. Also, she has acted. And that's a good look. And she has the YouTube channel. And her YouTube channel, I'm going to tell you something. That's real official. Because her YouTube channel literally has about... Sweetie's YouTube channel has... Over a million subscribers, am I mistaken? 2.54 mistake. million. That's what she's putting a lot of her emphasis in. She does the, the Sweetie host, the Sweetie University. She's using her communications degree, which is smart. Icy University. And she gets hits. So I guess, you know, using that communication degree in the end will pay off for her. But right now, the, um, the what you will call it? No. Mm -mm. this ain't it. You got to rebrand. Otherwise, she's going to be a person that's going to be unsung, has been, and people are going to wonder what happened to her career. So with that being said, this is your girl, I'm saying a little cool. I'm signing off. Stay tuned for future commentary coming up. Thank you for supporting me on the last couple of videos. I really appreciate it. Take care and have a wonderful day.